got into an anatomy class together, um, and I was sitting in the middle of the class, but kind of in the back of the rows, and uh, she was, you know, front and center, good little student, and um, so I saw the the back. I saw her hair. She had really nice hair. So my first thought was like, oh, this girl's probably hot. <laughs> he was wearing a baby blue shirt with like some brown writing and some shorts, board shorts and sandals, how he always wears. And I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's so cute, he's so cute. And I was asking my girlfriends, like, yeah, what do you think, what did he say? And um, we just started going to a study groups together. And before that, we had made eye contact in the anatomy lab. She was on the other side of the room at a table with all of her lab partners, and I was kind of over in the corner. And, um, I was standing up looking over the lab table and I looked up and I saw that she was looking at me and so we, like our eyes made contact. And so all we could really see is from our chin up and so we made eye contact and then I smiled, he smiled and then I got shy so then I just looked down and I was like, oh my god, he just looked at me so then I like scooted off. And then it just kind of went from, we studied in the library with our group to the group would come to my house and study because I had my own apartment and then it turned into it was just Laura was coming over to study and... <laughs> and then we did, we just hit it off and then he asked me out on a date and told him to go meet my dad and make sure that he can date me. <laughs> One day, he's home in our little apartment and he's kind of sweating and like you saw tonight, he's rubbing his hands together. Um, and I'm like, well, what's going on? He says, well, I'm gonna go meet Laura's dad tonight. I, I have to go ask if I can court her. Um, what would be the best way? Over the strings or under the strings? Does anybody know how to do an actual bow? <laughs> I ask him, do you believe in Jesus? Because if you don't believe in Jesus, you can get out. I don't want you here. Yeah. So uh, his, his, his response is say, yes, I believe in Jesus. Okay, we can start the work. Um, so just take it in and then take it out of the case, take the bow out and then just lean it up against something and like set the bow against it and then she can come out and, and run away. <laughs> <laughs> and run away. It did not come out like I thought it would. This rope is kind of too big for this. <laughs> Laura, many people say they are blessed for this reason or that. I am among the few who can actually mean it. Over the past few five years, you have not only taught me much about myself, but made my life truly enjoyable. Your drive and motivation have inspired me to better myself. I will never forget the first time we laid eyes on each other. At that time, I didn't realize the significance of it that look made me feel. Now I realize that look meant so much more. I no longer believe it was our eyes that met that day, but our souls. Today, July 13th, our wedding day, I vow to strive to always be the kind of man you deserve. I vow to work hard and serve you, whether that means breakfast in bed, or washing the dishes, or just sitting with you for comfort. Throughout the years of our friendship, Laura would share her dreams about the day that she would get married, and today those dreams are coming true. As some of you know, Laura has wanted this day for many years. She has been talking about marrying Thomas and planning it on Pinterest long before he ordered that beautiful ring that she is wearing today. I remember sitting at home one night about six years ago. I can't, it all goes by so fast now, I don't know, but 
the phone rang and it was my son and we talked for a while and me being the extremely sensitive guy that I am heard something in his voice and I asked him what was wrong and he said he was frustrated he was down there at school and uh, he saw all these cute girls hanging on the arms of guys who were anything but nice and uh, he wondered what was wrong you know reaching down into my depths of wisdom I told him uh, he needed to be patient that somebody would pop up and he just continued to keep being the nice good guy that he is the son I'm so proud of and it was a couple months after that that I started hearing stories of this giggling girl in anatomy class as far as just hanging out with her I just love like laughing with her like I love her her giggle and um, like when she laughs it makes me feel happy <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a warm-up suit. <laughs> <laughs> these are oh, pajamas. Oh no, these are pajamas. It's a warm-up suit. <laughs> what are you warming up for? <laughs> Bed? <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> I like that he's so laid back and he just calms me down. He's opposite from me, but we're so the same that when we're together it's so fun, but he just calms me down. He's the only person that can really do that when I have a million things in my head. He's just like, stop, you know, and that's why our favorite thing to do is nothing. Like, we can be doing nothing, and it's awesome. Good <laughs> <laughs> boy. Wait, better do better do <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is about two people becoming one. You bring your dreams, passion, wishes, and goals, and the other brings theirs. Although it is not always easy for them to line up, by coming together and as two completely unique individuals, you create something that is far more beautiful than anything you could do alone. So Father, thank you very much for this scenery. Thank you for these two before us, Thomas and Laura. Father, thank you for their friends and family standing here as witnesses to the lives that are going to be joined together. Father, thank you for friends and family here. And we ask for your presence and your blessing. In the name of Jesus, amen. As you can imagine, over the years, I have seen Laura go through different life stages. I've been there when she had crushes on guys in middle school and even helped her come up with code names so we could talk about them in class and pass notes. I listened to her talk about how there was this cute white boy in one of her college classes. <laughs> Little did I know that he would be the man that she spends the rest of her life with. I just want to say how proud I am of my son and how much I love you. Um, you are more than I ever expected or hoped you would be. And I could not have picked a better prize for you than Laura. Prize for all of us than Laura. Thomas. Thomas. You have won me. You have won me. The constancy of your honor the for me. The constancy of your honor for me. Draws forth these draws words. Draws forth these words. From my lips. From my lips. I pledge myself to I you. I pledge myself to you. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. And with great hope. And with great hope. Because of this foundation. Because of this foundation. You laid for us. You laid for us. And our heritage. And our heritage. I unreservedly, I unreservedly love, you. love you. Because I'm secure. Because I'm secure. In the love. In the love. You have proven. You have proven to me. You have honored me. You have honored me. And I am proud to say. And I am proud to say. I will live. I will live. To honor you. To honor you. My husband. My husband.